Good evening and welcome. I am waiting for some people to join in and I will start my live. Also those who are joining, if they can tell me whether I am audible or not. Today's topic, as you have already read, and you very well know that the brutal rape and murder of the second year postgraduate student in Kolkata's Arjikar Medical College and Hospital. Am I audible if anybody can tell me actually? <coughs> Sorry. Uh, Falguni, if you can tell me if I am audible or not. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, I really don't know today how to start this. In fact, I was posting stories, I was posting snippet news and honestly, I was not very much keen on coming on live. But some of my friends who regularly watch, they said that why don't you say something on this issue. This issue is very close to my heart because those of you who know me, those of you who watch, they know that I am always vocal on this topic. And I always say that it's high time that Bobbitt's law should be implemented in this country. In fact, today also I was watching some of the posts and they said that stringent punishment, which is off repeat actually, we have demanded so many times. But now I say, and I, as I always say, time has come to give power, empower women to protect themselves. Sounds blunt, but true if we cannot, we men cannot protect them. If we men have so much carnal desire that we don't hesitate to kill, we don't hesitate to finish these innocent lives, then honestly, these predators, these perverts have no right to live. Sounds theoretical but true. In fact, during Nirbhaya, I always said that time has come to empower women with weapon like US. Just a few days after the Nirbhaya, we had another incident, a minor girl was brutally gang raped, similarly like Nirbhaya. And very close to Delhi. Anyway, bygone or bygone, now let me come to this topic. You all know the story, I'm not going into details, but let me just give a quick recap. Yesterday on Friday, the hospital staff recovered the half-naked body of second-year student, postgraduate student of Arjikar Medical College and Hospital, one of the prime government hospitals in West Bengal, certainly in Kolkata. Initially, as the allegations were coming in, the state government, the police allegedly tried to 
suppress or hush up the case. But they failed because already the media had jumped into it. Now those of you who often say that media trial, our Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee is very fond of saying media trial is not done. Had media trial not done, then there were numerous cases that took place in Delhi would not have been even heard like the Kutub Colonado case. Even like Arushi, even the uh, Nitari case. Well, today day two, the police arrested Sanjay, the prime accused in this rape and murder case. Prime of his evidences showed that he went into inside the room because the victim, after having dinner with her friends, because she was having a late night duty, so she needed some rest, very normal with the students of medical uh, medicine. So she went into the seminar hall. Little did she know that it was her last night. So this pervert Sanjay, he came inside and brutally raped her and murdered. Prima facie evidence because the neck band, the ear neck band was found near the body of the victim. I hate to take the name but anyway, her name is Dr. Momita Devnath. Uh, now, the question is, there are many missing links actually. And I will be coming to those subsequently. I will be coming to the developments. I will be coming to the allegations, counter allegations. And not to forget the remarks, the reactions of the hospital staff, especially the principal, and of course our West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee. The less said is better. Well, missing link number one. Before that, let me tell you that police is suspecting few more people involved in this, but they are absconding right at the moment and search is on because right now after the family members demanded CBI, state government has suddenly come into action and they have become very active and as I said day two by afternoon Sanjay was nabbed yesterday the same administration was trying to suppress yesterday the same administration was trying to call it a suicide but today by afternoon Sanjay was nabbed Sanjay was the victim uh, Sanjay was the prime accused and the neck band was found. Commendable work, Calcutta Police. The only problem is, had you been active yesterday, then people would have complimented wholeheartedly. No taunts, no cat calls. Well, the father of the victim, he was the first to say that the her daughter, he said and I quote, I am certain that my daughter has been raped and brutally murdered. Unfortunately, the police, the administration is trying to suppress the case. 
Immediately after this, we heard the same version from Dr. Manush Gumta. He is himself a renowned doctor, a well-known personality, and right now doctor, member of Association of Health Services Doctors, West Bengal. Now, Gumta said that there are attempts to suppress, to hush up this case. He said, and I quote, it's unprecedented, it's heinous. Never ever such a case has happened in the history of West Bengal in the medical fraternity. We are ashamed. Bengal is ashamed. But we are more ashamed because the state government is trying to suppress this case. State, state government is trying to hush up this case. Now coming to the missing links, the first and the main missing link that came to my mind after going through the entire case actually, one, the victim went into the seminar hall to take rest, to take a power nap because it was already past two or three, she was alive by then, she had dinner with her friends. And naturally, she thought she would be taking a power nap and moving probably for her residence in the morning. She resided in Shodhpur. Why there was no CCTV camera in and around the seminar hall or inside? It's surprising that there was no CCTV camera in that corridor or there was no CCTV camera inside the seminar hall. Seminar hall is certainly not a toilet or a restricted zone. Then why there was no CCTV camera inside this seminar hall? Two. Coming to the arrest of Sanjay, Sanjay is a civic volunteer. Now civic volunteer is a wing, is a brainchild of West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee who empowered some unemployed youths, paid them some money as salary or as stipend and they work in accordance with the police. So they are like hands of the main police force. So we can say civic volunteers are a part of the Calcutta police. Now, Sanjay was a Sanjay is a civic volunteer who was posted inside the Arjikor Medical College and Hospital. His job was predominantly to screen and find out the details of the patients because a lot of patients come to these hospitals and naturally there are so many things to be found out about these patients so he was kept for this now according to sources sanjay had an unrestricted uh entry into the hospital rooms corridors wards and he freely loitered inside the hospital why who was supporting sanjay who was behind sanjay or sanjay had some political lineage a ordinary civic volunteer who is not even a proper police personnel, a para police wing, we can say. How dare he loiter inside the hospital freely, unrestricted? So much so 
that at the middle of the night this Sanjay goes inside the seminar hall drunk or drugged and he rapes and murders this poor girl who was taking a power nap this is no accident this is no coincidence that he entered into this room a girl staff remember he is a civic volunteer not a police a proper police a civic volunteer a para police not even a home guard below the dignity of a home guard it's just because of the first being called chief minister mamta banerjee's some cult structural reforms these civic volunteers have become so powerful talk to anybody in west bengal talk to anybody in kolkata and you will come to know that these civic volunteers they have gone so powerful that they hit beat they break window panes glasses of cars to uh, uh, e-rickshaws in bengal they call toto and they get away with them because government of west bengal mamta banerji is behind these civic volunteers so coming to the story who was supporting sanjay and who was giving him the power empowering him to loiter inside the hospital so much so that he didn't hesitate drunk or drugged to get inside the seminar hall and touch this woman doctor a second year post graduate doctor is much above the dignity of sanjay anyway three <clears throat> till yesterday the administration was trying to hush up we are not saying this media is not saying this victim's father alleged and as i said dr gumta a very senior doctor alleged and today by afternoon sanjay was arrested coincidence prime minister evidence is suddenly rushing uh, or gushing up is it possible if the your 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 phone or that that band that neck band was found then it was found yesterday and immediately when the body was recovered so after having the prime of facie evidence even before the inquest how could police say this it was a suicide and how could police dare to hush this up dare to suppress this up because a civic volunteer was involved we very well know what and how the uniform performs we very well know what all happens behind the uniform allegedly we very well know what happens when a man in uniform are involved in such heinous crime and how they try to hush up and what is the fate of the victim or their families so we don't know any lecture from the state government or the police should we take it for granted that the that the kolkata police the lal bazar which had set up a sit sit special investigative team it was all hush up it was all a a game they were trying to hush this up to protect the dignity of the police because a civic volunteer was involved 
and because of the media trial because of the so much hype of media i reiterate till yesterday 12 noon or 1 pm rather 2 pm everything was totally blurred everything was confusing her father was alleging hush up dr gunta was screaming it is hush up students were screaming hush up till it took shape of a student's movement till protesters came out on streets of Kolkata blocked the roads demanded reply from West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee everything are now falling in place why because CBI might be called now to the next part funniest saddest I really don't know how to address this Mamta Banerjee in the afternoon in dismay she asked and I quote I don't understand why our young doctors don't have faith in the state government it's very unfortunate if they don't have faith on the state government further she said and I quote, as if I have lost a member of the family, I have assured of full cooperation. And after some time, she again posted a reaction that I demand life, death punishment for this victim. This is heinous. This is unprecedented. Apparently, well taken. Congratulations, Madam Chief Minister. But the question, we never heard this type of reactions from you, Madam. We never heard this. So it was very difficult for us to take this from you. Sounds blunt. Many may say I'm cynic. Many may say, I I am anti Trinamool, whatever you feel like. We didn't hear this from you during Susan Jordan's gang rape on Park Street. You called it Choto Got on a Pete incident. And worst of all, you sent investigating officer, a very senior and honest officer of Calcutta Police, your police force. Because you were then and still now the state health minister and police minister. You sent Dominti Sain to exile posting because she dared to say, Na didi rape to hoi no didi. Rape did take place. Next, in Kamduni, where the girl was brutally raped like Nirbhaya, on the lines of Nirbhaya. Foreign objects were inserted in her private part. <clears throat> you went there after a long time. You took nearly seven or eight days to reach Kamduni. Not going into that. But yes, when you went there and when Tumpa and Moshumi Koyal came up to you to share their problems, to share their who's is it a sin is it a crime madam chief minister for your citizen <clears throat> for the women in the village for whom the victim was like a family their sister who were crying profusely to share their woes what you did you mark them as Maovadi, quote unquote, Maoists, arrest them, was your immediate reaction. You send the police to arrest them. You heckled them. If you have forgotten the exact words, Didi, then I remind you, you said, If you don't understand, you are talking to the police, the administration. Ask me. 
I can mark who is Maoist, who is criminal just by seeing. What a quality, madam. What a quality. God gifted quality. You don't need a scanner. You don't need a radar. You just see, you just watch and you tell them that he or she is a criminal, he or she is a Maoist. Then why crime is taking place in your state, madam? Why rapes are taking place? Why molestations are taking place? Why young and minor girls are dying? They are killed. They die in, uh, in woods. Their bodies are dumped. Half naked bodies are dumped near Kona Express. Barashat. Why, madam? Why don't you go out in the night like Dhamman Dishan did? Why don't you do some surprise checking like you used to do when you came to power and it was commendable, Didi? It was commendable. We had immense hope from you, but now we are disheartened. I don't know about the chamchas. I don't know about the bhats of Trinamool. And let me tell today on live, I was one of your ardent admirer, Didi. Not going into details. Many know about me. I was one of your ardent admirer, Didi. I hate you today. Hate you from the bottom of my heart. Because whatever you say, you don't mean those words. And if you actually hear to your critics, if you keep your critics close, then believe me, you would be able to rule this state better. Because those who are drifting apart from you today, Didi, they loved you. They loved you from the bottom of their heart. They admired you. And one of them is me. I'm not going into my details. Now, <clears throat> after Kamduni, as I said, numerous cases took place. Numerous cases. But most recently, the Shandesh Khali, where you said Til Ketal, exaggeration. You were reluctant, you were arrogant to listen to the press when the women were screaming. That filth like Sheikh Shah Jahan, his brothers, goons, they knock on the door at the middle of the night, they pick them to the party office, Trinamool party office, Didi, your party office. They keep them for days. They rape them, molest them, enjoy them. And worst of all, these women, they without hesitation, without shame, they confessed that these goons pick up the beautiful and attractive women and keep them for days. And those who are not so good looking, they dump them by next day. And if they pick up an elderly, the next day they would pick up a young or a teenager or a minor. You kept silent. Your government kept silent. Your spokesperson, one from North Kolkata, a very prominent face on television, who said yesterday, you are one of the Masiha, you think of the people, you, your uh, regime has given the power, your regime has given the security to the women. He was silent. When asked about Shandesh Kali, when media went to him, demanded his reactions because he's very vocal. He said, don't ask me questions and he tried to remove the mics. Why did he? Why nobody has the guts 
to say the truth and those who had the guts like Tapos Roy have to leave the party because your party is one such party where you cannot criticize staying within the party. You talk of CPM. You belong to Congress. There were endless cases in Congress. May I remind you the Nana Sahani Tandoor case? Remember how the Congress stalwarts in those days Balram Jakar, Basan Sate, Bhuta Singh, Makan, so on and so forth. They screamed, they shouted in Parliament. Naina Sane's husband was a youth Congress activist and he was kicked out. But in your case, you say these are concocted, these are Shajano Gotona concocted. Thank God in this case you didn't say Choto Gotona or Til Ketal. This is exactly where we are all surprised, Madam Chief Minister. Why did you come up with this version that you want? death for this criminal why did you say that this is an unprecedented incident and within one day within 24 hours you must have instructed the police to act because without your instruction, it wasn't possible. Had you instructed your police, had you instructed the commissioner of police during Shandesh Khali, they would have acted. But they had no other option but to make a sortie from this side to Shandesh Khali and Shandesh Khali to Kolkata. Because they had to show that they are working. Madam, if you are serious and if you have said this with utmost sincerity, then thank you very much. But I hope this is not an isolated case because these cases will not stop here. It's useless to expect that such cases will not happen again. It will happen again, again, again and again. Now coming to the people. Friends, take the initiative. It's high time. Take the initiative. Come out of your houses. I always say create civic forces, civic groups. Man your area, man your streets. Vultures, predators are looming large. Today, the victim is from a different house. Tomorrow, it can be from our house, Touchwood. Sounds blunt, but true. We need to be more powerful, more strong, united. And for this, we need to have social groups. And for this, I always say, Create social groups on social media. Keep posting. <clears throat> Keep posting messages. Don't let government, irrespective of any state government, not even the central government, to sleep. And finally, before summing up, a big shame, boo down, disgrace on the principle of Archicore Medical College who said and I quote this girl shouldn't have gone gone in the darkness in the night 
Why should women go in dark? The same thing was said by late Sheila Dixit and she was ousted from power. Here, of course, the thing is different. And I was sitting with a doctor yesterday in Hooghly without naming him. And he said a very senior doctor. And he said that it's unfortunate that we cannot remove this principle. He's a rogue, quote unquote. Now to this principle. Coming this version from Sheila Dixit, as I said, she lost the elections. She was a politician. She may not be aware of many things, but this was very uncalled, uncalled for statement. In case of a principal of a medical college, is he so much naive or a child that he doesn't know that young doctors, trainee doctors, intern doctors, first year, second year, they have to stay back for the night. They have their duties in emergency and often they go back to their hostels in the middle of the night or wee hours, walk down to their hostels. And this man is saying, why did she go in dark or why did she go in the middle of the night? Disgrace on you, principle of Arjikor. Not only as a principal, as a human being, disgrace on you. You are a filth. Rather than speeding up, helping to speed up the probe, because the student was your student. You are lecturing, you are giving sermon that she should not have gone in the dark. Disgrace. Well, as I said, according to police, this case is now open and shut. But of course, prima facie evidence shows that there were some more people who are absconding. People are trying to find out. Uh, sorry, police are uh, police is trying to uh, locate them. And of course, now they will be produced in the court and then the drama will take place. <clears throat> My only request, because everything is pet talk in this subject, nothing will stop this. But once again, if, if some people have so much carnal desire, let me be very blunt, some people have so much sexual desire, then they should face the music. If their carnal desire kills innocent lives, Destroy innocent lives. Especially like this. In, and in Nirbhaya. Where the girl was the first time from a family to get educated. And she was about to complete the paramedic. About to become nurse. And here this girl was about to become doctor. Senior doctor. She is killed because of this. Sanjay's carnal desire. Kill them, nip them in the bud and allow these girls, these victims to do the honor. And lastly, girls, women, females. I don't understand why victims they succumb to these predators, why can't they at least scratch, beat, hit their groin, their penis? Let me be again very blunt. I am very blunt today. During carnal desire, their sexual organs are erected. Why not kick it? Because a girl told me once, and I always refer her, hats off to her. That girl's girl, I never again met her on Facebook. I really don't know who she was. It was during Nirbhaya. In Bengali, she said, All of the Amakhoma Kore Deben, Marjana Kore Ben, Amar Hoyto Bolata Tikhobena. 
কিন্তু আমি অনেক ছোট আপনাদের থেকে কিন্তু এই রেপিস্টদের অর্গানটাকে চপ অফ করে দেওয়া বা ভেঙে দেওয়া উচিত কোন ট্রায়াল কোন কোর্ট যাওয়ার দরকার নেই মেকেটে রেট অ্যান্ড কেটে দিন ইন ইংলিশ সুইসাইড অ্যান্ড আই কোর্ট ফলো দ্য আই এম সরি আই অ্যাপোলজাইজ আই এম আ ভেরি ইয়ং গার্ল আই এম ইন স্কুল পার অ্যাপস আই শুডেন্ট হ্যাভ কমেন্টেড বাট আই ফিল আফটার লিসনিং টু ইউর ডিসকাশন and please excuse me for saying this chop off the organ of this predators make them erect and chop off correct cut it off i always quote this girl i don't remember her name i don't have that message with me still but i always quote this girl my respects to this 12th standard girl as she said i bow down my head i congratulate her from the bottom of my heart my respect from the bottom of my heart if a 12th standard girl can say this that top of the organ erect it and chop off then why can't the administration do this why can't the mature people do this may god bless her May God give her the strength to fight with all odds and may she always be happy wherever she is. God bless you. God bless you my unknown friend. I always refer you. I always quote you in my stories. You are my inspiration here. Lastly, I am taking the cue from this. Protest raise your voice. Candle light marches, flexes. are total sham no use raise your voice let the administration hear you cannot locate the culprits you cannot locate the rapists you cannot look at the criminals but it's enough if you can make the administration hear if you can make the government hear irrespective of the shapes even the central government if you can make the police hear then it's half your battle is won don't let these issues die down keep on posting keep on asking questions keep on raising these issues i leave you with this thank you for watching please feel free to comment whatever i said is from the bottom of my heart i have covered numerous rapes and from then on i have become an animal whenever i see this the shrieks the sound the cry the hysteria of these girls makes me an animal a beast thank you for watching keep posting your valuable comments it gives me the kick to do more do better Good bye good night for watching nonsense talk news this is pallav ghosh signing off